Hi, this is Ben Ivey, and today I wanted to dive into what are some of the most common psychological issues that we face as a society. Now, the first one is massively common, and that is that we believe success will make us happy. I mean, how many people do you know that want success so that then they can have a relationship, or do this, or do that, or then they'll feel so much better about life, then they'll feel worthy? Right? There are so many people that are going for success in order to feel a certain way. Because our society portrays that those that are the most successful are the most happy because they have a lot of material wealth. And it's very fascinating looking at this as a massive issue because there's such a divide and people are constantly comparing. And if you're always comparing yourself to other people, you're always going to feel unhappy if you're in a place where it's very developed. The quickest way to be happy when you're comparing yourself to others is to go to a place where you have more than anyone else. And then surprise, surprise, suddenly you feel a little bit happier. So this leads me on to an actual bigger point, which is the, when I have this, then I will addiction. So this is what it's like. When I have a successful business, then I will have a relationship and then I'll be loved. When I lose 30 pounds, then I will look after my kids. We have something and then we do it and to do something else. But what we actually want is this, but we feel we have to do this in order to get this. And it's just very confusing. But the reason that we do this is so we can focus on something that we believe is going to give us what we want, but we just get confused. And it's a massive issue because it's an issue that I face myself. So for example, I thought I'd have to be successful in order to have a relationship and then I'll have balance. But the worst part is, if you have a successful business and then you have a relationship and you think you're going to be more balanced, no you won't. If you can learn and have balance while, to build a business whilst maintaining a relationship, when you have a successful business running, you'll still be able to maintain a relationship. But those who are workaholics and they work and work in business and now got financial freedom and then you think a relationship will come, but you've never managed a relationship. So it's, it's such a big issue and the amount of people that I know that are single business owners now that have no idea what to do in relationships is just crazy. Right, next, entitlement. There are, there are so many people that feel that they're entitled to the best job. They're entitled to get loads of promotions. They're entitled to have an incredible life. It's just, that's, that's, yeah, that, that's life. Whereas they never think about the work they have to put in. Right? They don't think about the instant gratification that they're getting all the time doesn't apply to their lives. And it's such, a, it, it's such a big issue in the society we're in because, you know, I can go on Amazon, I can order pretty much anything next day delivery, which is wild. It's, it's absolutely flabbergasting. And then you're telling someone they have to wait 30 days to get a promotion or a year or three years. They're like, well, what? No, that's crazy. I'll prefer to quit. And it's huge, huge, huge issue. Right, next. The harder you work, the more, you're, the more you will earn. You hear this time and time again. No, you've got to work hard and then the more you're... No, no. Work smart and then you make lots of money. But if you work smart... But most people just work really, really hard and they're kept really, really busy and wonder why they're in the same place. That's not the point. You need to work smart and you need to be intelligent about how you go about things in order to be able to create the results that you want for yourself. And the last point that I want to mention is... And, and this, this is absolutely massive in China, is do I listen to myself, my family, or my friends? Because when it comes to decisions, I was speaking to someone the other day, she's struggling because she doesn't know whether to leave her job to go back home to look after the family or to stay where she is in her job and then not go back, but then she feels she's losing face uh, and then it gets very confusing for her. And ultimately, when we look at life, these are decisions that we need to make ourselves and having values and understanding and having that clarified is important. But it's a huge issue because we have so many different opinions about how we should act and how we should behave and we should do this and we should do that and no, you can't do this. And it's just so fascinating because when you look at life and you look at life and from the bigger perspective, it doesn't bloody matter. But so often we get overwhelmed with all these different factors going on and we never really think about now, how do we really, really shift forward and, and move our life to a new level? So now that we've looked into these psychological issues, one of the most important things is, okay, well, given this, like, what do you do? 
Because it's all good and well us chatting about, okay, well, when I'm successful, then I'll be happy, blah, blah, blah. But if this is what you see every single day, what are you going to do? So some of the things that I do is I don't watch the news anymore. I think the, the last newspaper I read was five years ago or something stupid like that. I just don't like reading it because there's so much negativity in there and you, you need to be very, very careful about who you surround yourself with and who you listen to. Because often the issues that we have are issues that we've taken from other people and adopted ourselves. Ever spent time with someone who's feeling nervous and suddenly you feel nervous too? Or someone feels confident and then you feel confident. And it's, it's very, very fascinating. So what's important is to understand you know, where you're moving to, maybe some of the issues that you face, and how do you do the opposite? So what I would pose to you today is the issues that you're facing, what could you do to do the opposite to help you move in, in, in the complete other direction? So if you're feeling that you have to be successful in order to be happy, decide, you know what, I'm going to be bloody happy right now, and success can come on up. I'm going to be happy right now. And if you look to people that are actually happy and they don't have anything, surprisingly, you'll find some really, really cool answers. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, message me with any questions that you have or any other issues that you think our society faces that is massive. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you very soon.